Guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are addressing a, a topic today that has been one of the most, most, you know, requested videos that we've had Easily. of the year. Yeah. Um, so I think it's up there with the, the home launch monitor and the 3D optimizer by Mizuno Chris. Yes. Right. This is this is what people want to know, the value of that and, and something they can do in, you know, whether they come here or a big box store or their pro shop, mm -hmm. they want to know uh, more about the system and, and what it does and, and kind of the data that it, uh, the, the sort of 3D analyzer yeah. provides. Right. Tell us a little bit about it. So this is something that we've been working on for a very long time. I mean, okay. the shaft optimizer is not really new to the industry. No. We brought it out in 2009 right. and we've been tweaking it ever since, getting better and better with our recommendations, how we measure shafts, how right. we analyze the data that comes from it. Yeah. But this th shaft optimizer 3D represents the biggest change we've made in it ever. Right. Biggest change on the functionality, the hardware mm -hmm. side, and also the software side. Hmm. So now it's all Bluetooth enabled, okay. goes straight to your iPad, your iPhone, mm -hmm. whatever. But on top of that, there's a gyro built into it. So one of the big things we wanted to address is try to take the misconceptions or the misreadings that can happen right. from lie boards and try to optimize that mm. with the shaft optimizer as well. And that that's perfect timing, obviously, with hot in the heels of what we've done, obviously, yeah. with uh, the LIBOR recently and, and trying to kind of make people aware that there, there can be some some, some misreadings and, and some misinterpreted um, sort of results from yeah. that lie tape, if you well, just it, trust that lie yeah, tape. Yeah, it can give you a ball flight you don't really want, even though it gives you, a, I guess, a level strike. Yeah, I mean, right. there's so many factors into, you know, what, how that tape will represent the, the strike, you know, as the face open, as the face mm. closes, the, is the handle up True. and tilted, is it down? So, you know, all those things trying to factor in to see the representation of the tilt of the loft. Yeah. Whereas this is, is obviously a much more dynamic. Um, That's right. So analyzing the full swing. The biggest thing we like to say is that a lie board gives you a perfect representation of the shaft or the face to the ground. Yeah. But ultimately face to the ground isn't what you care about. No, you no. care about face to the shaft. Yeah. So what we're trying to do with the shaft optimizer 3D is measure that and right. make sure we're measuring it as accurately as possible mm -hmm. and then build that into a fitting. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Interesting. Well, because you were, uh, you were, when we done the lie board test with you, Matty, yeah. um, it pretty much showed that where, where this tape was in the bottom of the club was, was kind of where the dynamic lie angle was on GC Quad, yeah. but for mine, it was entirely different. And, and you and most golfers, I think. And, and as a you lot said. of golfers, yeah. For the and most a lot part. of golfers we see in here, we're, we're managing you know, handle lifting sure. uh, most days in here and, right. and the amount of, of uh, pressure people put on the handle. And the number of people that commented after and said, I had a fit just like yeah. Ian's, yeah. I got my clubs bent upright and I hook everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get mine bent uh, right. back to standard or flat, like tons of people. So hopefully that helped get rid of, you know, so I, I wouldn't call it a bad mm -hmm. fitting, but maybe just not a well-informed fitting. And there are how many 3D shaft uh, optimizers in the market right now? So right now there's around 2,000, maybe close to 2,200 right. in the market oh, wow. right now. Okay. So we've just gone, we've just started to spread the, yeah. spread the yeah, yeah. Uh, Western world with these now. So we're very, very excited about it. Cool. And I'm the perfect example of the guy who does just the same thing. I can't, mm -hmm. according to a lie tape, I can't get upright enough. Right. Mm. But I'd never play a club as upright as it says. Yeah. So, exactly. so this is perfect for, for that. And it's nice to hear that from a, an OEM, from a manufacturer from you know the, the companies themselves that, mm. that, that even you know you see that in your own game because I think some people may are, maybe are skeptical at times it's you know true. that we're, we're our representation of that but well, it's, um, it's a concept that's been so old like how yeah. many years of live boards are people sure. that's right. what's ingrained in your mind so yeah. as soon as you give them you know the opposite conception right. it's gonna take some time to guess filter that in it's gonna be really interesting over the next little bit just what we see in terms of custom orders mm -hmm. in terms yeah. of right now we know where our standard or where our average custom order comes right. in and it is on the upright side mm -hmm. to right? see whether that starts shifting down interesting. just because we definitely see more flat fittings on this because the obviously the the biggest error on a lie board is a too upright yeah. fitting mm. yeah 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 makes makes perfect it sense really does, yeah yeah um should we get you hitting a few and, and kind of i was talking to chris about earlier i don't know anything about this <laughs> so i think the, the best way to represent this is chris is just going to take us through the process that's and then perfect we can see exactly how it works and and go from there Love that's that. perfect Love so what that. i'm going to do is i'm going to start recording my screen right here and then okay. we're going to go through and get this fitting going strike there it's a pretty good swing so this is at standard lie 
It is at standard lie, that's correct, okay. yes. And standard law for that set is a thir it's a 30 degree it six is, iron? It's a 30 degree six iron gotcha. at, at uh, 61 degrees. A lie angle, gotcha. Correct, okay. yes. So now we've got your three shots there. The great thing is we've got a lot of your fitting data already captured now. Obviously, yes. if you're in a studio like this, we've got tons of options. <clears throat> There's lots of different things to do. Mm. But if you're at a if you're at a you know traditional retailer where maybe not as knowledgeable a fitter. Now all of a sudden there's a lot of knowledge built into here. It's fantastic. I think that's one of the things I love about it the most. And uh, it starts to encourage the fitters to think more than just the, the two dimensional launch and spin. And I think so too. Uh, you know, those sorts of, uh, those sorts of fits that, that are just based on. I'm gonna on come look with you guys. Yeah, launch please and spin. do. So come on over. So right here, I've got your, your data here. I'm gonna right. click finish. And what this is actually doing is this brings in a couple different things. So this brings in your average head speed, mm -hmm. your tempo on a scale of one to nine, toe down, how much the shaft is bending in that direction, kick angles, how much it actually kicks forward, and your release factor actually measures when the shaft releases throughout your okay. swing, early or late. Yep. All of those things we've actually calibrated within the world of shafts that we offer within mm. Mizuno. So you can see this three-dimensional graph right here. This places you on a head speed, tempo, and swing DNA 3D plot versus all these dots are all the different shafts that we offer. Oh, cool. So ultimately what we're doing is we're saying in that world, which one are you closest to? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna bring those in. There doesn't seem to be in. an awful lot up there in that world where Matt is existing <laughs> there. He's a little bit of an outlier with the <laughs> oh, 96 okay, okay. mile an hour oh, yeah, head yeah. speed <laughs> and the floor tempo. Gotcha. That's moving so it. Tempo so tempo is, is, is that, well, you can get into it further, but is tempo the higher the number, the faster your tempo or? Correct, yeah. Okay. So you're relatively smooth for your speed. <laughs> right. So it's, gotcha. it's kind of right in the middle. We see about a four and a half average, which oh, you'd okay. expect between a one and a nine. Mm, interesting. So it makes sense, but you're relatively smooth on there. Right. So from here, the great thing is you can go straight into the recommendations and what this is going to do is in our entire world of shafts it recommends of all the different shafts we offer which flex you should you should try in each one yeah. and it force ranks them from top right. to bottom huh. and this is all based off the bending profile and that's shown down here this is the actual ei of mm -hmm. each shaft so your top three is a project x 6.5 a c taper x and a project x lz 6.5 those would be our top three recommendations mm -hmm. for you. Gotcha. So, and all of those are based off of, you know, at a 96 mile an hour head speed and a four tempo, yeah. you can go on the heavier side because yeah. you got a lot of speed going. You're not overly, overly smooth where mm -hmm. we would take you really light. We okay. want to give you a little bit of heft. Yep. And that's why you're in that 125 to 130 range. And then the release factor really dials in the tip structure of it. So if you were a nine release factor, that would be someone who really flips coming through. Okay. And from there, we'd recommend a very soft tip shaft. Gotcha. Versus if you're a one, it would be really holding on and that'd yeah. be a very, very firm tip shaft. Gotcha. So you're somewhere in the, in the middle there. So like, for example, a dynamic gold X1 would be a little bit firmer tip. Had this been a little bit higher, we probably would have put you in a little bit firmer gotcha. tip. Mm -hmm. But that's why we recommend these. So the great thing is here, now you go through the fitting process, you test these, you actually look go at your numbers and, it, and yeah. decide which one works. I'll just dummy one up and say, we'll select that one right there. And from here, it works you into the next steps, your length, which again, you work with your fitter to mm -hmm. see what's the proper length. We'll recommend based on height and knuckles to the floor, yeah. but a lot of different teachers and fitters have different you know, right. formulas to how For to get sure. to what's the yeah, proper yeah. length. Very cool. And then this is the newest big thing that we do here is the dynamic lie angle. Mm -hmm. And that's based off of having this, um, this gyro built into here mm -hmm. yeah. because this knows its exact space in three dimensions. Right. And where it really tries to take the, the guesswork out of a lie board is with a lie board, I know you talked about if your face angle's yeah. off, if you're closing, yeah. your closure rate mm -hmm. can affect things. All this cares about is the angle of this in relation to the ground. Right. So we're gonna measure that. Yeah. And based off of that, we put you in a degree and a half flat, which would be 59.5. Interesting. Yeah. And I'm curious, what, what do you play? Two flat. Yeah, there you so go. Two, two, flat. two flat off 62. So okay. Mizuno standard oh, sorry. 61. Oh, sorry, Mizuno is 61, <laughs> exactly. I guess you would call kind of Yep. Other kind of North American standard might be 62 across that's other companies. Right. So was this closer to three flat then? So that's two and a half. Also, so yeah. I think that makes sense that's because bang on. because I've been two yeah. flat and I do get a toe up strike yeah. fairly often as yeah, well. That's for sure. So that's the biggest thing here is that the biggest upgrade to the functionality okay. is that now that we have your shaft and your lie yeah. done in those three swings right. and it huh. takes 
for a good fitter, now you can work, you know, mm -hmm. say you want to miss it to the left or miss it to the right, you can adjust from there. Yeah. But for an average fitter who really can, is prone to misinterpret a lie board, yeah. there's no misinterpreting that. That's right. interesting, right. I mean, so, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of formulating this in, into the, the world that doesn't, ex that, that exists outside of these walls. Mm, yes. And, and, you know, we'll be a case where we have so many fitting tools, we have our loft and line machine, we have all that sort of stuff, we have our build shop back there, we can build whatever we need. Mm -hmm. Most places, these 2,000 accounts that we talk right. about, yeah. they, they don't have that. That's true. Right. So, you know, this is a tool to navigate all those factors. I mean, even I'm sure when, when you guys are going out into the field and doing the training, you have to explain a little bit about kick speed and, sure. and you know, how the droop affects the shaft, and the dynamic lie angle and all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. It's introducing new terms that, in actual fact, is training the fitter just to be a better fitter by right. understanding the, the motion uh, and, and the forces placed on the shaft. That's, that's what I love about it. That's exactly right. And you're, it's amazing how the, the level of fitting expertise is so rain, it's so yeah, broad. I know, I know. And you know, everyone walks in thinking I'm getting the best fitting yeah, possible, yeah, but ultimately, true. depending on where you go, mm -hmm. in some instances you are, in some instances you're getting yeah, far yeah, from that. I know. This will bring that average up is yeah. our goal, you know? Right. I think that's where the question comes from the most often, and that's why I think people are asking you about it, is mm -hmm. they want to know how valid is this? Yeah. Like, Ian, what do you think about sure. this exact situation? Mm -hmm. How close is that to what you would have recommended mm -hmm. for me? Obviously, you know my ball flight really yeah. well. Uh, I think people are looking for validation yeah. to see how well it works. Well, I think the even better thing, rather than me knowing it, is that there's 30,000 people who also know what your ball flight <laughs> yeah. is like now. that's no, true. <laughs> and they've watched enough videos to know that you do that's play that you do play yeah. lie angles exactly there. That's true. Um, you know, all that, all that sort of recommendation that we've literally just seen is, is right in the ballpark of, of where sure. you test. And shaft-wise, um, what are your thoughts on what it recommends? I mean, interesting. So Project X, um, 6.5, 125 grams. You use Modus 120 TX, that's 126 grams. That's right. Right. So, so I mean, from a weight perspective and, and that type of thing, it's, it's, it's literally right on, on, uh, on the exact same path. Uh, if you look at the, the kind of profile of Project X and, and Modus, especially the TX, mm -hmm. you know, that softer midsection, very butt stiff, very tip stiff. Right. You know, they're, it's, not, it's, not that, it's not that different. It's close, right? And I remember the video, it was ages ago, but we compared Project X and Nippons, yeah. and those two ball flights were closer we're together than close. Dynamic Gold. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like Dynamic Gold had a different, yeah. uh, I would say, flight profile. Those two were much closer. Well, now. and to that point, you said it's the 120 TX? 120 TX. And we don't offer that, yeah. so that's why it doesn't show up with Which is fair this. enough, no. yeah. Fair and, enough. And it's funny because when you were showing the additional ones there mm -hmm. and, and I saw that the the X show up the 120 gram version but right. the TX didn't show up there right, which right. is which is again looking for the yeah, one, that's yeah. that's something a little bit different. and a lot of these are all based off of you know I talked about the swing DNA numbers yeah. the tempo and the release factor when, when we've measured all these really our average as you'd want it to be our average tempo and release factor are right around four mm. and a half. So mm. you're just slightly on the stiffer side yeah. of that. When you measure the Nippon shafts, they actually are very, very neutral shafts. Mm. So they're not overly stiff, overly soft. Yeah. So the fact that the Nippon TX120 fits mm. you perfectly, right. that lines up a lot with what those numbers <laughs> yeah. are showing. That's interesting. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's great. We, we get a lot of people, Chris, watching uh, the channel who are maybe fitters at a box, big box store. Yeah, right. And they're really trying to kind of bring, you know, their, their own sort of version of, of what we do here to that with the tools that they have. And, yeah. right. you know, I'm really excited for those people to watch that and the, the assistant pros in the pro shop and, and people who can bring right. a, a better uh, fitting offering to, uh, mm -hmm. to the system. And I think Mizuno as a partner lends itself to that now because it comes with these fitting tools. Mm -hmm. right. It also comes with a great product. And um, I think that's one of the best things about it. It's pretty interesting. Are you impressed with how this is doing? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I, I've, I've, always, I've always it. really liked the, you know, the, the process. Because yeah. you, know, yeah. you, know, you think about where you go, okay, what's the next conversation? Mm -hmm. Okay, Matt, the next conversation is, you know, we start picking ahead for you, we hit some, right. we start talking about set makeup and, you know, how does that blend in with some hybrids and different oh, stuff? Okay. Right. You know, all those sorts of things where we start to, you know, build your set right in front of your eyes. And that's and what this is here, Chris? It, it is. Yeah. So that's, setting it up. As you walk through the process after your length and lie, 
knowing your six iron or seven iron swing DNA numbers, it's amazing how much data we know from that. Oh, yeah. So based off of that and your head speed and all that, we can recommend a set mm -hmm. makeup where you should drop off your longest iron, where mm -hmm. you should bring in a hybrid yeah. type club. You with all your speed, you can handle a three iron. You're the exception so here. So this is recommended that already. It yeah. is recommended oh, okay. that already. Cool. And it even goes down, so it recommends you in a four through pitch, or excuse me, a three through pitching wedge. Mm -hmm. Had your head speed been down five miles an hour, mm -hmm. this probably more than likely would Jolts have been off. a fly high yeah, or something yeah, like that. Good. Or if so you're a low ball hitter mm -hmm. or something like that, it'll give you a hybrid. That's exactly That's right. Cool. So it'll bring all of those in. And then it takes a step further when you go into the wedges. We actually can say from here, I don't know, how far do you hit your pitching wedge? Like 145 or so. Our guess was 149 yeah. on a 46 degree. Light. And I don't know what loft you play. You maybe uh, play a little yeah, bit. That's probably about yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's yep. probably fair. Mm -hmm. Pretty so, close. so yep. our whole thing is from here, again, we know a lot of data from you now. Right. So what we can do is we can recommend gapping on your wedges mm -hmm. as well. That's if you cool. were to go 46, 50, we think a 50, you'd hit about 137, yeah, 55, yeah, about 122. These, are, these yeah. numbers are pretty close. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole thing is we just want to take as much data as we can and then give the fitters as much yeah. information as you can to fit all this in here. It's pretty and by the way, you've done it with three swings. And well, right. this, <laughs> I think that's the, the point where people would be skeptical about it initially, yeah. but then when you right. see what it's derived from three swings and how accurate it is, mm -hmm. because obviously we know we know the answers. This is we're just checking them, right, 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 <clears throat> to verify whether it's accurate. But that I mean that took two minutes. Yeah. To well, get all this and a done. lot of that comes from the the a level of trust that comes from it comes from how the fitter is going to mm. relay that information. Yeah. Oh, for sure, if yeah. you swing three shots and right. then the fitter says, "Okay, you're done. Here's your whole bag. Yeah, There's yeah. two thousand dollars." There's going to be a bit of skepticism yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. However, if you walk it through and explain the data and what we know, mm -hmm. there's a lot in here, and it, it truly can enhance the fitting experience. Yeah. Quick thing, because this is so quick and easy to use. And yeah. do you want to try just for experiment's sake? I make three swings that are different and see what it recommends. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. I can sure. swing a little shorter, more yeah, across the top or something like that and see what it comes up with. Let's do that. What kind of swing are you going to give us? Like, yeah. <laughs> well, 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 give me, give me <laughs> some. Give me a righty club? No, not that different. <laughs> Why don't I hit like a fade that's steeper and a little quicker? Okay. See what it recommends. Okay, let me get this going real quick. <clears throat> Okay. 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 See what it says. Come up get, with. So we can see here, this was, this was your three shot sly angle. So 58.6, right, okay. 59.9, 60.5. So as you got more. Yeah. As I was trying steep. to exaggerate it, basically, yeah. That's it measured each one, yeah. Very cool. Huh. Okay, so let's see what it spits out on that one. All right. So that means your average should be, or you want to see the shafts and everything. Yeah, yeah. So shafts, a little bit, little bit softer, mm -hmm. a little bit lighter. Your tempo was the same, but your head speed was down on that. Right. So from there, it actually took you down basically half yeah. a flex from there. That's interesting. C taper S instead of X, mm -hmm. uh, Dynamic Gold 120S and Project X 6.0. Interesting. And actually, because you were holding on a little bit more, because yeah. yep. you're hitting a punch, your release factor came down. So that was yeah, less yeah. less flip, exactly. Yeah, and that's, that's fair enough. I mean, that's definitely, you were hanging on to a yeah. little bit more on of a purpose, fade. Yeah. But it's interesting that even for you, you know, the tempo, as much as you feel like you're trying to change something, really you, you, you struggle to stray away from your tempo. Right. <laughs> you know, and it's something that's an interesting observation on quad uh, that we see, Chris, is people go, you know, I'm not a very consistent golfer, mm -hmm. you know, I struggle mm -hmm. with the game so much. And then you'll you see certain parts of their delivery, whether it's angle of attack, path. Mm -hmm. Normally those two are pretty consistent. You're exactly right. They don't right. stray too far from okay. one another, but it's the the, the delivery of the club face that often is, is the variable. Yeah, the, they interpret a bad strike yeah. or inconsistent strike as an inconsistent swing. swing? But yeah. usually your motion is very consistent. Uh, okay. Very, very consistent. And, and the, the tempo and the cadence of it, it's, hmm. it's uh, very, very similar swing to swing. That's really cool. Very cool though, isn't it? Yeah, very, very cool. So and someone would go a little bit lighter and softer with a little less head speed and a little bit more of an over. I mean, it's not far That's off right. what you'd recommend. Absolutely. As a good starting point, and then the dive into the fit and try those yep. options and see what works best. And the fact that your release factor went a little bit lower because you held on a little bit yeah. more, you can actually see the tip of that Dynamic Gold 120 is a little bit firmer than yep. the previous well, ones recommended. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't in the recommendation top three before, yeah. but now it is. That's mm -hmm. right. And that's all because of that release factor that brought that in there. Mm -hmm.
That's interesting. So that's the whole thing is it, it, it works on how you measure and how you deliver everything. Yeah. And then we're going to pull those in and dial those into the different different Very EI cool. profiles. And I can hear the people complaining already. Well, you know, he's, he's hitting it low. Surely he needs a, a more tip soft shaft. And right. people are still associating that, that you know, right. tip stiffness and tip soft with, with kind of trying to change flight that way and, yeah. and not going towards <laughs> loft and head design. And, Hopefully and they've watched enough of these videos to see that that's not your best yeah. your best option <laughs> not, for getting not, the ball up in the air. It's not what we think. So down to brass tacks, it yes. is a really good starting point, clearly. It's, it's fantastic. It's going to get a, a fitter on the right track. Uh -huh. It is in line with what you'd expect to recommend me. Yeah. Um, it's obviously not the end of the fit, but it's a better right. beginning to a fit than most people are going to get without it. That's right. And, and I think, you know, you guys will be completely open to saying that There'll be times the, the the end result head and shaft recommendation is is not you know the number one pick or right. you know something like that you know customer preference and player preferences and feel and and those sorts of things all all play a part don't they? You're exactly so. right. There was always a push from you know certain lazy retailers yeah. say well just tell me the number one. Yeah. But we never want that to be the case That's because right. to your point people are looking for different things. Yeah, for so sure. this is absolutely the starting point right. to start the discussion yeah. of here's this wall of shafts, mm -hmm. try these three. Right. Yeah. So that's really what we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. narrowing it down. Let fantastic. me ask you this, that tempo and that release factor, mm -hmm. and maybe even that kick angle, that's almost kind of new tools for you. Like, I know you're very good at observing a yeah. swing, but that's, that's well, kind of well, cool for you to say, oh, I can. Those I can. are things you can't eyeball. I was going to say, you can't you, really you can't, eyeball that. You know, you can go, okay, that pattern looks like something that would see that someone isn't really releasing that mm. too much and try to try to make that as an observation. But, you know, we've, we've we brought gears in to, to for be our purpose. eyes for that sort of thing so we can see the dynamics of the shaft in mm -hmm. motion. Um, whereas this is, is analyzing, you know, the way that shaft is deflecting and bending droop. That's really cool. You know, all that sort of stuff. So, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's such a step ahead of, of just a launch monitor fitting. Right, and so, so much further on than, than just an eyeball fitting. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's um, very true. So, very cool. Very cool. Okay. Well, hopefully Excellent. that answers the questions that, that everyone's had about, about yeah. the system and gets Ian's take on it. And thank you, Chris, for giving us yeah. the yeah. behind the scenes look at it. But uh, yeah, I think from a consumer standpoint, I can't, I can't imagine mm -hmm. you know, the, the market in general not being benefited yeah. by having something like this out there. That most fitting shops, as long as they carry Mizuno, I guess they'll, they'll have one of these in, Absolutely. in the shop. That's yeah. right. And I love getting it in front of critical, really knowledgeable eyes yeah. just to understand, just to, to pick holes and understand what's working right. and, and sure. how that can benefit people. Yeah. So we yeah. appreciate you guys taking no, a look no, at I it. No, I mean, I think, I think if we had a, looked at the recommendations and they were way off what you know to be yeah. good for me, we would have gone, oh, that's not great. But it's, right. it's, <laughs> it, it's lit. I mean, aside from Nippon not being in there, that's, right. not, that's not a fault of the system. Yeah. It's just, but the profiles of the shafts, they all made sense the lie made sense so it's good to see it makes, good. it makes sense excellent all right guys let us know if you've tried this if you've yeah. been in the field and if you have a, had a chance to try 3d optimizer how long has the 3d version been out so the 3d version we just shipped on march the first so no, it's so really yeah. it's so really fresh most <laughs> people won't have, uh, won't have won't have seen that one yet right so this right. is a this is a wow. pretty big improvement over the standard uh, original version it really say. is okay. there's improvements on every level that yeah. the the lie angle is just one part of that right. there's also improvements in the actual accuracy and consistency yeah. mm. of the readings from this as well. So right. even your shaft recommendations, have you done? if you've done it before, yeah. mm -hmm. it's worth taking another look at because they're getting that much tighter. I know. I so know. make sure you ask to get the, the 3D one when you go to the shop. Absolutely. Mm. All right. Guys, go and do this. Um, yeah, sure. Go and go and try this out. And, and you know, if, if there's a multi-vendor demo day or something and you know, Mizuno's there, go and, and certainly test the product and, and go through this process mm. because I think there's so much valuable information Absolutely. to be taken from uh, from such a tool, it d it doesn't exist from any other OEM. Sure. Um, so it's uh, it's really unique, and and I think you guys will get so much information about your delivery, mm -hmm. and and maybe change some um, sort of preconceived notions That's about how you point. deliver the golf club, uh, and I think that'll help you with with kind of your buying decisions now mm -hmm. and and the future. And it's good um, for your just your knowledge of your own swing, yeah. isn't it? Awesome. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks, Chris. Good. Yeah, thank, no, you. thank you for doing that, Chris. Appreciate that was that. brilliant. Excellent. Guys, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.